listen to this, okay? These these articles, by the way, these articles are both from WWE.com, okay? I'm not going to Wikipedia. I'm not going to our website. This is directly from WWE.com, which is the official website of WWE, all right? Carmella was named to Money in the Bank ladder match. When Sonya Deville named Carmella as the first woman to represent SmackDown in the Money in the Bank ladder match, Liv Morgan emerged to point out that she beat the self-proclaimed most beautiful woman in all of WWE last week before shockingly slapping Princess Mella to the canvas. As a result, DeVille told Liv she would have to earn her way into the Money in the Bank ladder match by defeating Carmella in an impromptu match. In the subsequent matchup, Morgan did just that, countering Carmella's top rope maneuver before rolling her up for the pinfall. Okay. So according to this article, and what I saw with my own eyes, Liv was told if you beat Carmella, you will earn your way into the match. Okay. Now we go to this other page here on WWE.com. Money in the Bank ladder match. This is the official preview for the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. Sonya Deville named two-time Money in the Bank winner Carmella as the first person to represent SmackDown. Alexa, Nikki, Asuka, and Naomi will represent Raw. There is no mention of Liv Morgan in this updated preview here. There is a list of the women involved, and they are Alexa, Nikki, Asuka, Naomi, and Carmella. Where is Liv? Why is Liv not on this list? Just to irritate me? Anyway, I don't know what's going on. I can't help you guys. And bro, I'm just going by WWE.com, okay? I'm not making anything up. This is straight from their website. What's happening here? This is also the same website that reported that Roman Reigns was going to have a big, fantastic victory celebration last weekend on SmackDown. And that was changed a, a day before, uh, actually not even a day before, the day of, they decided to go in a different direction that we never found out about because Edge interrupted Roman. This person here says, what does it matter? Who cares? Well, I'll tell you what, what it matters. Say. I'll tell you what, what, it, what, why it matters. It matters because this show's year-over-year drop-off is, is stunning. That's why, Smackdown's because, because when Hunter did that promo a few years ago about his buddy Mark that stopped watching, well, his buddy Mark actually stopped watching, and They've a lot of people stopped watching. For years! And, bro, this is why you don't watch the show, because they do storylines that lead nowhere. They do stipulations that mean nothing. That's why. Like, if you don't watch, no, it doesn't matter to you. I mean, dude! That's why it matters. Why should I bother watching these shows if they do stipulations that go nowhere? What's the point of watching the show? What's the point of anybody watching the show? Magic. No, no one's watching for magic either. You want the SmackDown numbers? Yeah, I got them. I want to hear All it. Right. SmackDown did 1.859 million viewers, down 3.6% from last week. Last week was up like 3.6% because they did a Hell in a Cell match at the last second or whatever. Whatever that thing was that they did that they announced. Yeah, they announced Rey Mysterio and Roman Reigns the day before on social media. They got a whopping 3% increase. Now they went down 3.6 million. Showed it a 0.5. It's down 14.5% year over year. Who cares? Like the guy says, who cares? Yeah. Got other things to care about. Plenty. I was way ahead of the curb on not caring about Raw and SmackDown. Bro. Eons ago, we, we covered a Raw with a, I did, did a show with Dave. There used to be a show called Sin Lamente, Died a Horrible Death. Doesn't matter right now. What matters is I try to switch up, only talk about some bullet points of Raw, and then push it to the side while there was other bigger news, more pressing things. And finally, Finally, people have come along to this. This has been a long time coming. Okay, people? 20 Bro, here's years problem, of atrophying, though. dying ratings on a show that's horrendous with things that go absolutely nowhere. And yes, look, 
I'm not going to say that it's not the, the biggest fish in the sea. It is still the thing that drives most people's views. It drives most people's clicks, drives most of their listens. But there are ways to talk about that show without directly talking about that show. No. Because so much of that show goes absolutely nowhere, means nothing, and ultimately will just piss you off. Mike, you don't get it. The reason that we have to do this raw report and the reason that when I do this raw report, it gets so many views when the clip goes up on YouTube is because people don't care and watch about the show. They don't watch the show. They want me to tell them so they don't have to watch it. That's they want why you to have we a have stroke. to do it. They want you to have a heart attack. They want to give you some sort of medical Bro, I malady. Have a stroke. Come on. You sure? I feel great. You know why? Because for an hour a day, I come on this show, and I unleash my theory, and then I have 23 hours of peace. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.